Last Wednesday at a Petco in Seattle, Washington, they found zebra mussels in a product called Marimo moss balls. And that we checked out our stores in the Oregon and we found out we had the same product and the same zebra mussels uh, that were shipped in with these mo moss balls. And as you can see, they're extremely tiny. Uh, so they're juvenile stage or smaller. So very difficult to see, uh, but we're seeing them in most of the stores here in Oregon too, in this product. Our concern if zebra mussel get in the environment they are a mussel that basically destroys the ecosystem they, uh, they're, they're in. Uh, they grow quickly, they multiply rapidly, and the problem is with, in the ecosystem, they are filter feeders, so they're taking all the phytoplankton out of the water system, so the basics of the food web are getting disrupted, and they breed so quickly they'll clog pipes, all intakes and outflows of water for drinking, irrigation, hydro. Uh, the other thing that they uh, create, they don't eat blue-green algae, but they'll take it in, spit it out, so you have more blue-green algae uh, outbreaks in the uh, environment, which causes water you can't drink, makes it harmful to swim, and in, in these things. Uh, we currently do not have these in the wild in the Oregon or the Pacific Northwest. Been trying very hard to keep them out using our watercraft inspection program and other programs to uh, keep zebra and quagga mussels out of the state of Oregon. And this was a new vector that we found in the live plant trade, aquatic live plant trade. Today we'd like to explain easy ways how you can decon decontaminate your, your fish aquarium uh, for zebra mussels and how uh, uh, ways to dispose of this moss balls so you're not uh, growing more mussels out there or you're not disposing of it in the environment where it could take over in, uh, into water bodies. Today we'd like to offer more of a practical way of taking care of disinfecting your tank. Uh, one is starting with the ball itself. Uh, simple as taking it out of the tank, putting it in a Ziploc bag and putting it in your freezer. Or uh, you can also boil it in hot water before you dispose of it. The other thing we're asking that you keep an eye on your tank and see if any of these things have fallen off into the gravel and maybe growing in your tank. Uh, so a big concern there, if they're growing, they could mature and start producing the villager stage, which is microscopic in the, uh, stage that you can't see. So the other part we're asking is that when you do a water exchange uh, in your tank, that you disinfect the water before you dump it down the drain, either with a small bleach solution and let it stand for a little while before you dump it. Or if you don't like the chemicals, you can actually take it out and dump it on your yard outside and then long if it's away from any storm drains. Uh, so dispose of your water and again, uh, keep uh, observing your tank for the next six months to a year just to make sure you have no development of these things going on in your tank. Now, if you want, you can, if you have a smaller tank, yeah, you can do a complete dis, uh, disinfecting, you know, removing the gravel, removing the filter, removing the fish, and do a complete disinfecting process using a bleach solution or hot water, at least 140 degree water to clean everything out. That will kill everything in it and then put your tank back together. But if you have a much larger tank, that's not real practical. So more likely during your water exchange that you normally do, you would disinfect the water once again before you dispose of it down the drain or outside, uh, away from storm drains or other places that could get to a water system.